It looks like the evolution books are going to have to be rewritten. Today, scientists said they've discovered an entirely new species of primitive humans. Meet Homo naledi, a human ancestor that's believed to have lived about three million years ago. Researchers unveiled its fossilized remains today in South Africa. But it wasn't just one skeleton. More than a thousand bone fragments from 15 individuals were found. Human relatives unlike any seen before, falling right in the middle of our evolutionary scale. Our science correspondent, Bob McDonald, joins us now. Bob, uh, what makes this guy different from our other ancestors? Well, Peter, if uh, we look at the footage of the bones of these skeletons, we see a blend of old primitive features and more modern ones like we, the genus Homo, have. For example, they have small teeth like we do. They don't have big canines like apes do. Uh, but they're not big-brained like we are. They have small brains. Their brains are only about the size of my fist. Their hands are adapted both for tool making and for climbing, and their feet are almost exactly like ours, so they stood upright and they walked on two legs like we do, but they were very short. They were only about a meter and a half tall. So an interesting blend of both the old features and the new features that we have today. And an interesting thing about their hands, Peter, um, our hands, the way we're designed, our thumbs are almost as long as our fingers. They're about the same length. And they're very strong down here along with our wrists. And that's good for tool making. And we can do this. We have opposable thumbs. So they had that, but their fingers were extra long and curved over the top, which is good for climbing which is what apes have, so they could do both. So it's an interesting blend of, of us and the Australopithecines that came before them. <laughs> I'm amazed always that you know these names like that. <laughs> Where exactly were the fossils found? Well, they were found in a cave outside of Johannesburg, and it's a very interesting cave. We look at footage of this. Uh, they believe that they use the same entrance to the cave that they use today, but it's a very difficult cave to get into. There are two passages you have to go through. One of them is only 18 centimeters wide. So they actually had to, to on social media, ask for short, uh, small archaeologists to go in, or paleontologists. One of them was actually a Canadian. And, uh, but what's interesting is that these bones were put there. They, they didn't go in there by accident. They were put there. And whether or not this is a burial site or just a disposal site to keep them away from scavengers, no one knows. But they do know that there's a lot more to come from this site. So stay tuned, Peter. All right, Bob, thanks very much. Science correspondent Bob McDonald. And if you're wondering why it looks so sunny and beautiful behind him, he's in Victoria. It looks like that all the time. Thanks, Bob.